Okay. What's good, y'all? Shout out to notification gang for hitting the like button. And if you didn't start yet, y'all, the villains ones, and I appreciate you anyway. Angry reactions. DV victim says he hit her baby and kicked her. She exposes what happened. The I guess N word. What is that? I ain't, I ain't gonna try to guess what that was. Uh, what that means. He was arrested. Um, everybody that if you don't know who Angry Reacts is, he's one. Of, he's he's pretty funny, man. He he acts angry, but he acts, but he actually likes it. You know, you you sitting there looking at yourself like, damn, bro, is this man mad at the video? Or does he actually like the video? Does he like what he's seeing? Whatever case may be, man. But um, I had somebody send this video to me. Shout out to y'all, y'all the goats. If you haven't already, please make sure you add me on all social media platforms: Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. All my links is in the description. Uh, all the links is in the about page. Y'all go ahead and click a way. Um, you know what? Matter of fact, let me let me play let me play the let me play the second video first. Let me let me play this video first, so y'all can see who he is number one, and you can see exactly what I'm talking about when you're coming into situations like this, dating these damn women, bro. Y'all boys have to be careful. Let's get into it. He's putting her hands on me. I never got a police on her. My bad, my bad. Hold on. Angry. This is angry action. Angry reaction breaks down uh, to his father on the phone on live. Angry reaction breaks down to the father live about DB allegations and evidence leaks. She's showing bruises of me defending myself from her. And she's making the internet think that. <laughs> bro, you know this, bro. You know this, bro. You know how you raised me, bro. You know how you raised me, bro. I, bro, I just got through all of this drama. And she was on my side. She sitting there telling everybody, oh, I could have sent you to get, I could have sent you to jail about press charges. And, brother, I just want you to, I just, you know, and you know, I'm not this time, but you know this. You know this, bro. Everybody coming at me again, bro. <laughs> bro, I, I, <laughs> let me let, let me say this, man. I, we're we're in this day and age. I get it. Y'all want to show everybody everything, but understanding the fact that he's having some type of clearly some type of emotional breakdown, maybe a mental uh breakdown too. Uh, he's having an emotional breakdown. He's venting to his father on the phone about what had happened, about her apparently putting hands on him and he defending himself. What did he say at the beginning? He said, oh, she's showing bruises of herself and those were bruises because I was damn defending myself because he, she was assaulting him. Let me say this, fellas. Um, assuming everything he's saying is true, First of all, get off social media. Number one, don't don't post stuff like this. But again, like I said, he's having a, 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 a an emotional breakdown. I get it. In situations like that, fellas, y'all boys need to walk away the first time that it happens. The first time she puts her hands on you, you pack up and you go. I don't give a damn how fine she is. I don't give a damn how fire that head is. Keep it moving. And trust me, I know I, I, I don't I don't have some them put that head on me. Believe me when I tell you. Believe me when I tell boy, look at here. But you gotta walk away. Because she over here threatening him. Oh, I could go to jail if I you can go to jail if I press charges against you. She threatening this man. She threatening this man. You will lose. I say this all the time. I don't give a damn how fine she is. I don't give a damn how fat that ass is. I don't care how good the head is. Ain't no woman in this world worth losing my freedom over. Losing a paycheck or whatever y'all want to call it. Losing money, sleep, freedom, my mental, my sanity. No woman in this world. You can't show me one woman in this world and I say, yo, I can lose my damn sanity. I, will, I risk losing my freedom for her. You can't show me one woman. I'm sorry. Sorry. Let's keep going. Yeah, bro, I'm so mad right now, bro. 
I'm so mad right now, bro. I'm so mad, bro. Yeah. Yeah. So this this is the woman. Um let's 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 hear let, let's hear her reaction uh or her, you know, her explanation. So now I feel like I need to address what happened with the whole arrest. Basically, I was laying on our bed with our baby sleeping on my chest and he came at the edge of the bed and we were arguing and he ended up going to the living room and he was just in there just yelling, just talking crap, like whatever. And so I, after a couple minutes of him doing that, I wasn't entertaining it, you know, I was like just done with the argument. So I turned on the TV. He gets mad that I turned on the TV, so he comes in and yanks the TV off the wall. And that is the picture of the TV that I have of that. And so I pull out my phone to start recording him. He sees that I pull out my phone. So he comes over to try to grab my phone for me. Now mind you, he has already twice in the past broken my phones that I had to get replaced. So I did not want this man to get my phone. So I'm laying on the bed with our baby sleeping on my chest and he's trying to grab my phone and I'm trying my hardest to not let him grab my phone and <clears throat> during the scuffle like he hit our baby in the head our baby starts crying this man kicks me multiple times and that's the picture that I have the bruises up my thigh and up the side of my body that's how I got those you can literally see on my thigh a shoe print People are saying, oh, it looks like you fell off a bike, blah, blah, blah. Like, those are, like, whatever. Those are from him kicking me while I'm holding our baby. Fellas, what can we learn from this? What can we learn from this? Walk away the first time. Ladies, what can you learn from this? Walk away the first time. She said that he broke her phone twice and you still stayed with him? She said he snatched the TV off the wall, hit the baby in the head, came up in there arguing about whatever they were damn arguing about. Again, assuming she's 100% true, she's telling the truth. Same thing I did with him. Let's just assume she's telling her part is now the truth now, right? You stayed with him for what exactly? You know what's going to happen in, in this court because now she, she already done got him arrested. Do you know what's going to happen now? She's going to send all that to evidence, all this, that, and the third. You're going to have your day in court. Nine times out of ten, they're going to convict you for a DV and whatever other things they can throw uh, at you. Assuming she doesn't drop the charges prior to, but depending on what state this happened in, like, for example, I'm in Florida, uh, the state will automatically pick it up. So now, even if she does drop the charges, it doesn't matter. The state's still going to press charges against you. So it's going to be you versus the state instead of you versus her. Y'all boys think this is a game? Y'all boys think it's a joke until it's your damn freedom on the line and until your ass is crying on TikTok just like his ass is. Keep playing around. Keep playing. I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy, but keep playing. Hey, man, maybe I think differently, man. I want you to comment down below. Let me know what you thought about this video, man. Thanks for watching. And until next time, please, man, be safe for